I'm Doug, I sing in Bearings, and uh, we're going to listen to some songs today. Oh, what's up? I'm Fitz, I play in Bearings. I'm Mike, we're the new guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan. And I'm Colin. We're from Bearings, and today we are listening to some new music. It needs to kind of sound effortless. I, know, I like when songs are kind of, kind of just feel like they, they happened, not that they were thought too much about. I kind of like it when lyrics don't make sense. I like it when it just kind of falls in front of you, I guess. I mean, it all depends on what kind of genre we're listening yeah. to, right? I mean, if you're listening to like a more like a punk band or something like that, you're, what you're going to be listening to is going to be different than what you're listening for in a pop song, right? But generally, a good hook and a good melody is enough to catch my eye. It's good in every genre. I love like good, honest lyrics, juicy riffs, big riffs, <laughs> <laughs> things that make me want to bop my head, groove, groove, huge for me. But yeah, anything that's just like super new sounding and like original. I like this. It actually is tight. Yeah. Wait, I think I know this song. Have you heard it? Yeah. I'm waiting for the vocals to come in. Well, that main hook was so good in the intro. Yeah, the intro is sweet. Yeah. I have no idea though, but it's so good. I actually like this a lot. I know what I've like know I've heard this song a million times. I just forget what it is what it's called. Chorus is awesome. I feel like I should know what this is. Like some rate it's like rock. It's it, it's, it's like, so in the realm of what we've been like listening to recently and just the kind of music we're into yeah. that it's like perfect. Honestly, kind of oasis-y in some ways, but yeah. like a little bit. Some new age indie stuff as well. Yeah. The guy's voice is really good too. Like his range is all over the place. So cyanide. Is that the, is that the line I, you're hearing? That's, well, no, I think that's the name of the song. Creeper, Creeper. that's okay. right. Yeah, okay. I heard the, I heard the new, that's their new song. I did think, you listen right? to it the other day? I did, we yeah, put that on, yeah. Yeah. It's super good, actually. It's yeah. it's so different than what Creeper normally does. They and, went away for a little bit, too? Yeah, they did, yeah. and yeah. this is like so different, but it's really cool. It's good to see them back. Really, really like it. The it's, vocal performance is incredible. Creeper's always been pretty like, like, you know, they like write like anthems and their choruses are really big and that kind of still has that but it's a little bit slower and that's like, kind of what uh, like stands out that what's changed for them. But the, uh, but like the song is honestly really great and it's that, it's that big chorus hook coming in, it sounds really big. I honestly haven't heard much from them yeah. in the past. I've heard like a couple songs but... So that's why that I, cool. I knew of it. We literally listened to that the other day. It's a cool bass thing they got going on there. All right. Ah, she has a nice voice. Ah, that's a cool harmony. It's actually, it's really good though. It's really good. I don't know, it sounds like you'd be in a movie or something. It's good, I like it. Someone with a high school in it maybe. Something like that, that sort of deal. I don't know, I have no clue who this would be though. It's good though, I like it. Some really cool harmonies going on. The melody's super catchy. Strong melodies, uh, and like I said, when, it, when I'm the same, like when a song sounds effortless, that's one of those ones where I feel like they could probably play that perfectly live. They probably, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, obviously you think about whenever you write a song, but it feels like it, you know, it sounds natural, it sounds like it works. Dude, this is so ambient. It's got a, a good feel to it, man. <laughs> it's like dubstep y. <laughs> it's like chill step, yeah. I like this. This is cool. <laughs> this is super interesting. <laughs> you know, the voice reminds me of that Poppy girl, the YouTuber. Have you ever seen that? No. Nah. She like started making music, but. A voice is, reminds me of it. I, I have no idea what this is, though. Like, no. Yeah, <laughs> I can't think of, like, anything that sounds like this. Oh, oh, Grimes! I had no idea Grimes sounded like that. I thought it was, like, heavier for when some I put, reason. When I put the other piece on and got the full, like, 
you know, isolation of the bass. It sounds insane. Yeah. It sounds great dope. production. <laughs> this sounds more like the intro of a Creeper song. Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> I don't, but I think it's like Billie Eilish. -y. Yeah, it's it, Billie Eilish. But <laughs> Billie Eilish. Is it not? It sounds so much like her. It sounds like something by her. Especially like that whisper voice in the intro. This is building a lot of tension. I don't think I could listen to this one alone. This just sounds like a horror scary. movie trailer. This is definitely not one you show the parents. Now we're off into a whole nother realm. I don't know what this is. I like the beat though. To me, it ain't it, but. <laughs> I mean, there's a time and place. I think I like it, but not 100% yet. We're it's very like industrial oh, sounding. There it is, oh, here dude. we go. The riff. <laughs> now I'd show my parents. Okay. Totally. This is it. <laughs> yeah. Was this the intro to the record? I love it. So this this took a deep turn. I was not into it at first because I thought I was just listening to some like a soundtrack. weird industrial yeah. thing. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was cool, but now it's like an this, actual song. This is a little more up my vibe. I'm not 100% sure on who it is, but it's really good. That's Code Orange. It's Code Orange. It's the new Code Orange music. Okay, cool. Why didn't I catch that? Yeah. Because yeah, they're, they're a heavy band, but I mean, they can experiment so much and bring so much to the table. It's really yeah, cool. Their sound hasn't really stayed completely consistent throughout their history. No, they like to like, push it, for yeah, sure. They like and to push it. I'll, I'll be honest, like, I don't listen to them as much as you probably would, yeah, I do but they like are definitely pushing the sound. And like I said, like how I was all weirded out in the intro, if I threw on a Code Orange al like album and heard that, I kind of understand it would be an intro. Whereas this, I thought it was something different, but it's, it's really good. <laughs> This is cool. They don't touch the vocals much in the in terms of like fixing. They just roll with it. He's got like little, vo little almost like little voice cracky things going on. It's cool. I feel like this drummer live. I don't know who this is, but I feel like whoever is the drummer for this band hits astronomically hard live. Just based on listening to it like this, it sounds like it'd be loud, like a, like a full on wall. But it's still super melodically there. It's really good. Good harmonies. I think this is gonna be another like band that's been around for a bit. Cause it sounds very refined. Any guesses? It's it's funny because it he does stuff vocally, like a band that used to be in an NHL video game, but I don't remember what the band is. Okay, who is it? This is Frank Iero from Future Violence. Uh, what, what was he in? He was in My Chem. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That was mad good. It's, it's kind of like what I was saying earlier when I was saying what I look for in music. Actually, all the tracks you showed me were kind of like that, where they all were very effortless. They just sound like a band playing music. They're not trying to do too much. You know, they're just doing what they do well. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I was not expecting yeah, that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go into like a breakdown or something. It's just like punk beats. Lots of distortion on this one. Oh. Is this Boston Manor? Yeah. No, I think it's cool that Boston Manor kind of just started out as like a pop punk band and now they're like really just going for their own thing with this new stuff. Yeah. That last album they put out was really cool. That sounds uh they still got that touch of Boss Manor, but it's like they're trying some new stuff for sure. And yeah. that's cool. The vocal really, really production is super cool. I love like the distorted vocals. It's dope. It just pushes the whole time too. It's like <laughs> you know what I mean? it's cool. It's really just cool. Just those punk beats. I love the acoustically driven tracks recently, so this is like... I love this it. This is very cool. It sounds like a little bit like 21 Pilots. Do you think so? Kinda. I think it might actually be them. Is it Could a new be. 21 Pilots song? It's not. We got that wrong. <laughs> we did. We did get that wrong. <laughs> very wrong, I'm sorry. 
But the groove in the intro is so cool. It's cool, know? yeah. It's kind of like an acoustic-y like, rock song yeah. in the intro and leading up to the chorus. And then the chorus goes total pop. But Ambient, too. Ambient yeah. the chorus. Very cool. And I like, the, uh, I like the effect on his voice, too. Mike. So this is Oliver Tree? Oliver, Oliver Tree. Tree. See, I've never, I've never listened to Oliver Tree. This song is called Cash Machine. Cash Machine. Yeah. Okay, Would you cool. listen to him based on this song? Based on that song, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I think I'd check that out. That was actually pretty, pretty cool. I like how it, there's so many different genres in that one song. Like mm -hmm. there is like an acoustically driven like folky rock track, but then it turned into this like ambient weird thing in the chorus where there was actually no real instruments playing. It had a nice so. groove to it too. Like it catches you right off the bat. Yeah. Right when you put it on, you can feel that acoustic guitar, and you're just like instantly hooked. Yeah. And if that part I'm referring to is the chorus, there's like no vocals in the chorus really, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. But it's like a good hook. Ambient chorus oh. just to chill out too. Yeah. Killer melody. This new all-time low? Yeah, this is good. This is a good track. Very good. Woo, there's some crisp drums. I didn't actually really grow up listening to much all-time low, but I love Blink, and then obviously, you know, there's always that, that, that mutual uh, respect. They obviously do what they do well, and uh, now I'm kind of starting to, to hear them and, and get into it because they'll, you know, they're releasing new stuff. Simple Creatures, that, they have a couple songs that rock as well. So I think I'm just kind of starting to get into it now, but I like it. It's good. Really good melodies, uh, really tight, and again, effortless. I feel like it's just uh, the next record's very, kind of like, kind of what our last record was like in the sense we didn't really aim for a genre. We just kind of wrote a bunch of songs. So there's some very like, there's one I really like because it's kind of, kind of Beatles-y. I love the Beatles, so I'm pretty excited about that one. And then there's, you know, a little bit of heavier stuff, and then, you know, obviously some pop stuff as well, because we listen to a ton of pop. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we never think, at least even when I do vocals and stuff, I don't think too hard about, about it. Because I think, you know, if you think too hard about it, you kind of lose the, the sincerity. There's so many there's, new songs that we've done that are just like, I mean, there's an acoustic one, there's a pop punk one, there's a third eye blind one, there's some others. There's like the main stuff that we pulled from. We don't really like to, you know, yeah. put a limit on anything. Like, there's so many different kinds of different vibes and styles on the new record that it's mm. it's gonna be it's gonna be very different. So I find it just comes from all our different musical tastes, you know, just blending them all together. Yeah. It's really cool to see, and we're excited for the new music. There's one song that was literally like a last minute song on the record. Barely, you know, barely even made the record. And it was really just one of those things, we need one more song. So I just kind of whipped out the acoustic and played it. And we did it super last minute. It sounds great, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. And there's another one I didn't do the vocals for, I didn't even write lyrics for it until like day of recording it. And I'm really stoked on that one too. Because it's, when something works, it just, it just works. Like it's just like a, a streamlined thought. And you just, you know, it's kind of nice. I'm Doug from Bearings. For more videos from all of your favorite artists, subscribe to AP TV.